Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate, hard by the darkest dungeon, where we have a lovely town event. Plus 15% virtue chance on next quest. Now, that set me thinking. There are some districts I would like to build. I would like to build the Red Hook, the Cartographer's Camp, and the Outsider's Bonfire. Now, I'm intrigued by the Cartographer's Camp because Torchlight being more beneficial, I'm not sure exactly what that would mean in the Crimson Court, where it's just plus three accuracy for a fight. Does that go up to maybe plus four, plus five, or just nothing at all? I don't know, but I would need a deed. So I thought maybe I should go and take on one of the high level bosses. And I thought, which level five boss causes the most stress that we could use to capitalize on this? Obviously, that would be the Drowned Crew which is not currently available, alas. So which out of these would cause the most stress? The Beguiling Siren, the Necromancer Lord, the Swine God, or the Hag Witch? Well, we know I don't like the Hag very much. I think it's probably the Necromancer Lord, but the thing from the stars roams here. Do we just maybe go on a mass money run this week instead? And we should look at rewards, obviously. I'd like to go straight in here, but I think we need a bit more money. If we are going on a money run... This is the Ancestor's Handkerchief, not the Librarian's Handkerchief. They do look similar. But the sign in the corner is different. I should probably do something about that at some point. Book of Sanity, very good. Activate free protective wars, that sounds like a good plan. So, not a boss run this week, but one that will be very beneficial. Now, I was thinking for the Drowned Crew, where are we? Galliard has Cove Scrounger, so we should take him. And Sir Wrexham as well. Sir Wrexham needs to go up to 5th level. Taking him on a quest this long as level 4 character would be pretty bonkers. Four, four, three, four. Right, so if we look at this... Where were we? Um that as a party and if we wanted we could take Ulcina Vane as well because the Abomination can now go adventuring with religious characters which actually is pretty scary when you think of some of the combinations you could pull off and I don't like that but she's been kind of on the shelf for so long now but why not let's give her a shot Okay, is this a party we're setting out with? Uh, Sister Vindra... Oh, that could be bad. I'm checking if there's anything here that would be very bad in the cove. Oh god, yes. But it's a short quest. So we're in with a little bit bit of a chance. Now, we won't get much out of an Antiquarian on a short quest. But we'll get something. And as it is a short quest, our Abomination can get some more training. Obviously, pu puking her guts up all over the nasty, stinky fishes is great. And if we can keep her on human form, all the better for this quest. Okay, in we go. And I just check we're recording. All looks good. Alright, so we've got a little more food. Do we have anyone who has some kind of eating disorder? 
Mm, nope. Although it might be nice to purge some of these negative quirks when we come out if we don't get two while we're in there. So let's take two holy water, three medicinal herbs, one anti-venom, three shovels, four blood in case anyone's immediately wasting as soon as we go in, half a dozen torches, um, and we're going to go four bandages because we don't have a plague doctor with us. And it is a high level quest so why not, yes. We've got an antiquarian to make up some of the expense after all. Frawls will explode if left for too long, absolutely, yes they will. After this week it would be nice to get back into the Crimson Court and keep tracking down the Viscount. I've been looking forward to that. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. So I'm glad I brought that extra vial of blood. Just saying. Oh yeah, this is a nice short one, fairly simple layout. Um, can we get something from it? I'm not gonna put a torch on it. Worth a try for future investigation. I don't think there's anything that specifically interacts with this, but I'm just marking things off, you know. Hey, nice! Another mariner, another misfortune. Alright, we'll dig our way through this. I don't believe we need many more invitations to the courtyard. And we don't want Sister Vindra getting infected. So let's get fight, go fight some nasty ruffians instead. Now, you might think, what are they doing here? Perhaps they've just been burying some treasure. And if we're lucky, we'll get to dig it up and find what they've been stashing away here. Somewhere where they thought no one else would come looking for it. I mean, these vagabonds, they get about everywhere, you know. All right. I don't like the way that thing is throbbing behind us as we fight. I mean, if his scatter shot caught it and sent the Crimson Court enemies out to attack us, that would be pretty horrific. Right. Get tough. We are getting closer to being able to attack the Fusilier. Any moment now. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. And he appears. Nice Wrexham, you wreck his face. So this group lacks the ability to target rank 4 very often, which means we're a bit stuffed if a Shambler turns up. Heal up please. I mean that's, that's more for the stress removal than the healing to be honest. Nice, he missed everyone. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? I think one of the brigands had a citrine tucked away in his pocket. When they went and buried the treasure, he just was like, I'm going to keep this for myself and not tell the others. <laughs> you know it's the kind of thing they do. Probably the one for daggers did it. Hey, at least we surprised them. Bursting through the door, shining the torchlight in their eyes, and they go, Ah, oh, my eyes! And look at the size of those eyes as well. 
Those, are, those eyes have got to be sensitive to bright lights. Nearly, nearly, yes! Okay, so Wrexham, do what you do best. Nice! Oh, even better! Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Okay, we can make that work for us. Um, yeah. Hmm. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, all right. Um, they're not that badly hurt at the moment, to be honest. I mean, we weren't going to do much damage to that, even if we did focus on it. But it's a start, you know. It's the beginning of something. So the obvious combination is the Leper and the Abomination. Because when the Abomination transforms it can cause stress to everyone and the Leper can just reduce his own stress frequently. So like Leper, Abomination, Jester, maybe even a Crusader as well. It would be a pretty potent party. Should we try that out sometime? There we go, we've removed the guard. And we should be able to pound the cack out of this thing next turn. You chop him up. Get that Gurkha knife in his face. And a great big clawed hairy arm of doom as well. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Alright. There we go. One more round. Don't let the bleed. Two for three is six. That's what a bandage is for. And she's so sorry that she removes a lot of stress and gets better. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. As victories mount, so too will resistance. You know, I think these fishmen might have dug up some of the citrines buried by those brigands. Or they might have dropped a few out of their pockets on their hurry to escape. I like them hurrying to escape better. The figurehead emits some marvellous aura. Let's use holy water on this because I think it might do something. But I name this ship and smash a bottle on the figurehead. Why does it not do... <laughs> okay. Well, that's big stress removal. Go on, secret room. Please give us a secret room. No... Well, at least we know we don't need to go down that little side path anymore. Keep Rashida selected. Okay, we're making money this week. You, you're an abomination. It doesn't matter if you get messed up by this trap. Nobody likes you. Nobody loves you. Not even the people at the brothel who you paid to say they love you, love you. They just pretend. Uh oh, fishman at the back. Obviously, we got issues with the madman as well, who will need to be dealt with. But spear fishing is the last thing we need at this point. Ah, we should have had invigorating vapors prepared. Oh well. Worth a shot. Here comes the pain. Lovely. 
and the bleeding. All of the bleeding. No! She's a tough old girl. Right. You, Mr. Fishman, need to stop fishing. I mean, it's just not on. Now, normally I'd focus on the stress dealers rather heavily. But I'm much more concerned by the fishman with the spear at the back. Because we have a high virtue chance this week. That would be nice to actually capitalise on that. Okay, do your thing. I realise the blight would have killed him off, but that way I get to put it on the corpse. And more importantly than being on the corpse, it was just um, extra clearance. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, so the other major benefit of allowing these two adventure together is that the Abomination is very powerful and one of the things that used to keep the Abomination a balanced character was the fact that you couldn't send it with a Vestal for amazing healing. You had to rely on people with minimal healing, like an Antiquarian, or use an Occultist. And the Occultist and the Abomination worked quite well together thematically. They'd lower the light level, cause lots of stress to the party. No, it was. It balanced out how ridiculously devastating the abomination could be. Whereas now, all the ridiculous power combos that people modded in months ago are very, very possible, and everyone can just do it. Now, as far as I understand, the religious heroes are supposed to be taking, like, 5% extra stress damage because the abomination is in the party, but that doesn't seem to work and it just seems to not be going on at all, so I don't know what's going on there. But it just feels very wrong. Alright, let's open this chest and see what we find. I doubt we're going to find a secret room at this point. Right. We do not need these heirlooms so much now that we've got most of the town upgrades. We can just leave that. I mean, basically, we can just turn them all into crests when we get back to town because we'll never need any other kind of thing ever again. I'm going to just briefly pop in here and see if we can see... Okay, nice. I am so glad that I did. Coral. Who needs it? Guilt conscience, unquiet mind. I'm looking at the locked things because they're harder to remove. Fear of Eldritch, Shishiomania, thin blooded. Flawed release, Plutomania, witness. Plutomania is actually bad. A sickly witness. Is it right. It's going to be you, Sister Vindra. I mean, you came back from the dead. You know, these things shouldn't bother you. You can rise above it. Germaphobe removed. Okay. Well, we got rid of something. And that would have cost us money to get rid of otherwise. I'm betting empty... Empty room fight. But I could be wrong. Let's head on past this brief scuffle. Don't be the Collector! Oh my god, I'm so glad it wasn't the Collector. I haven't seen him for a little while. And this group does struggle to target enemy rank 4. So the Collector would be a pain in the bum. 
You know what, Sir Wrexham? I'm proud of you. Dodging all those attacks like a hero. Masterfully executed. We got this. This fight will be over soon. Don't like the mark. Nice! Thunder Vestal is making a comeback. A death by inches. Right. This is a better exchange rate. Because it's a one to one rather than a trading something in with heirloom trading. Come on. Empty room, just as I said. Oh no, a fight! Lovely. Okay. Ooh. That was rubbish. Give us a fight then. Okay, that snail is troublesome because it means he's in third place. Although the snail is probably dead to blight on its next turn. Absolutely, yes it is. Right, you hit him, you just bumped into him as you were begging him to protection, weren't you? Oh, Sir Wrexham, I hope you can forgive that imbecile for trying to jab-stab you. Just poked you with the edge of her knife as she stepped forwards. You're like, hey! That's not on, lady! Wow, what is up with his dodge? Yeah, those aren't doing it. Um, other skill, is it one of these? Oh, Covid's Grace! I should have really considered locking that if he still has it when we get back to town. In Radiance, may we find victory. Ooh! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the cove water. Fishman. Let's get some treasure, please. We got an antiquarium, we want everything. You know, we just like that. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. And pray for a secret room, taking that key with us. Or a treasure chest, you know, we're not too fussy. Uh oh. Right. We kill the thrall because he leaves no corpse. That'll drag the fishman forward so he won't be able to impale us with his spear. Lady, as long as you don't skip your turn and actually just attack the corpse, I'm fine with this. You know, I misclicked just in front of him, and the attack missed as well. It makes total sense. Do something about your accuracy, that'd be great. You make those mouldy old fishes go mouldy, melting with acid. Nice. Hmm. Oh, that's a bandage. 
That's a bandage and a self-heal. Yep. Can the abomination even become virtuous? There's a force. <laughs> okay, bandage, because it makes room for more treasure. Self-heal for the health and the stress. Mostly for the health this time. Yeah, you don't need to hit that fish, man. He's going to die of poison in a moment anyway. And a big heal. Yeah. Oh yeah, you totally guard him. He's just going to die very soon anyway. Actually, you guarding him does us a favour. Because it will allow us to puke bile all over middle two ranks. And get the guarding fish man in the front. How kind of him to present himself as a target. Excellent. Is that due to the... Okay, not sure what's causing him crit penalties there. Got you. Got you covered. Lovely. Working him down nice and slow, and he actually got stunned. Excellent. The wounds of war can be healed. But the, never hidden. The vessel was hurt as well. Um four points of damage he can take it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. We have to decide if we're picking this up now before we can tell if you know what we've not had much use for Lord and Miss Rund at all so far. We have a greedy antiquarium, and we want the treasure. You're supposed to let the antiquarian pick up that. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, ow, ah! <laughs> Impressive. So this is best tackled because they're all identical, just killing our way through the front ranks to get to the back. Which means she's transforming. And raking her way on through. And missing. Completely missing. That's alright. We got a leper. Clarified in a single strike. So he can miss of all his attacks as well. That legendary leper accuracy coming into play here. can't even afford group strikes. We need the extra 5 accuracy so badly. Decimated. Lovely. Does the job. Don't you dare get corrupted. And scree off. Oh, come on! She was really nice. And she still is. Pious and virtuous. Go for it. Not quite the double kill we were hoping for, but good enough. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. All right, we're going to take those, swap that, we're going to pick this up, and then we know there's no fight in this room, but there could be some kind of curio, there isn't, 
Now we shall depart from this dungeon to return once more to the hamlet and revel in the glory of our success. Uh, wholesome marine life can flourish, if indeed there is such a thing. Alright, it'll be back to the Crimson Court next episode then. Hooray! I know this episode should have gone up last night, but seeing how badly things went in the Kingmaker game, I decided to upload the next episode as well, just to show a nice little turnaround and things improving again. Oh, Sir Wrexham, you are still 4th level. This is a problem. Flagellant. That's entirely appropriate for an abomination. Nervous bleeder. Mm, yeah. Spotted fever. Well, that's getting fixed. The plume and the pistol. No. End to my folly. <laughs> And a curse upon us all. No special town events, lots of people thirsting for the blood. One person even consumed some. Sister Vindra is going to be treated for her disease. We do actually have a fair bit of money. We can afford to treat a quirk on someone that does not have the Crimson Curse. Known she is manageable. Corvid's Eye is actually quite nice for a very aggressive home and build. I'll have to think about that. Corvid's Resilience, also very nice. But if we could get him some kind of dodge or scouting bonus, that would be really good as well. Arella. We got unyielding, that's great. We could just remove one of these. Wield phobe could be got rid of. Ludovic. Uh, we could get rid of Plutomania or Egomania. Stamford. Yeah, I mean like any of these would be good. Just out of interest. We could treat a lot of non-locked stuff. 5% scrounger isn't good. What are the, the extra, like the 10 or 15% scouting chance? Those would be better. Senate. Who should, quite frankly, be near the top of the list. I should remember this. Uh, Dark Temptation is bad. Egomania is bad. Ginny Jora. Uh, we can kind of leave these as they are a moment for now. Nanya. Weak Grip we can completely ignore because she has no melee combat stuff whatsoever. Uh, uh. Hmm. Okay, if we slip in Kira, go infirm, just get rid of that. And we could put one more person here. Stress eater, light sensitive, risk taker, night blindness, or mm, risk taker. So many risk taker quirks. I mean, light sensitive is the one that's most likely to affect me, as I tend to prefer um, adventuring in brighter light levels. But let's look at our higher level characters again. Those are all locked. Mm-hmm. 
I won't put in any of these for as we're going back into the Crimson Court next week. Hmm. There we go. Right. And off to the Crimson Court we go. But that will have to wait for another episode. In the meantime, I'm just going to check the Nomad Wagon in case anything really interesting has turned up. There still seems to be a localization with the Moonlight Sonata. I will look into getting that fixed in the very near future. It probably shouldn't be too difficult. And it would be nice to go get one of these 65 crystal shard items soon which would involve dipping into endless mode. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What we can get so far? Uh, nice Regester, Antiquarian, Plague Doctor, Um, abomination, occultist, anyone. Okay. Is there anyone completely unmissable at the stage? Coach, probably not. Although some very tempting people. Okay. Well, that about does it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!